Coming in. This is a kitchen. It's my first call, Toby. This is a picture of my family, my brothers. That's Mummy Tuna Angel. This is my dad, Sue right now. See his gold leggings. <laughs> and then the hair is gorgeous, Daniel. <laughs> my stars is magnifique. <laughs> and the eyebrows are brilliant. <laughs> When Bethany was born, it was a bit of a shock because we didn't know that she would have Down syndrome. I was frightened to start with, Yay! but I thought, oh well, you know, she's gorgeous anyway. Bethany's a bundle of fun. She uh, always wants me to play games with her. Yes! She has that look in her eye and she gives that wicked little laugh. It's quite a tonic, quite a tonic. Time for a good pack, It's my dream, any. And those are pictures I was doing gymnastics. And there's a pictures of me. That was cute. Baby, I'm lying on my way like a body. Yes, the river here gives me all the web. She doesn't really think there's anything different about her. I have to explain to her sometimes that she can't absolutely do everything on her own, but she's very independent and can get a bit cross with me sometimes. <laughs> she's just a typical teenager like that. Noops and blind world. Earlier this year, Bethany appeared in a professional production with Taking Flight, who had a project going that had been funded by Children in Need. Taking Flight is an inclusive theatre company working with disabled and sensory impaired actors and that's how we met Bethany. <laughs> I like to be actress. I have been in Midsummer Night's Dreams and Twelve Night. She's always been a really outgoing person and really fun to be around but I think what's changed with Bethany over the, the projects that she's been involved in is she's become much more creative herself. You know, it's been really the high point of her life and giving her so much confidence and just her self-esteem's rocketed. I'm gonna have to put a lid on her, I think. She's <laughs> oh yeah. Our children had an opportunity that they would have never had if uh, children in need hadn't funded it. Until we heard that there was a possibility that we'd be doing the challenge, Bethany'd never ridden a bike and I hadn't ridden a bike since she was born, really. I'm so proud that both my girls are in the rickshaw challenge. They're going to make their father and their husband a very happy and proud man. I just think that it's going to be such an opportunity for Beth. It's something I think she can take with her for the rest of her life, even if she never does anything as big as this again. Will you give us some money for Children in Need, please? <laughs>